In a week of twists, a house divided. That house is amazing. Strangers married. <laughs> and a big brother loving. <laughs> Next, in a massive new twist. <laughs> One of the most mischievous, devious, lovable housemates returns. Something very fishy is going on. Big Brother, next on Nine. Tonight on Big Brother. I'm so over Tim right now. The tables are turning on Tim. Everyone's getting over him very Blue. quickly. I find it hard to talk to you, Tully. Me? You're always off in the fairyland. Coming from you. He needs to be challenged. Is Ed the perfect man? This is pretty much Australia's Prince Charming. I think you're perfect in every way. <laughs> and an old friend <gasps> finds a new place to hide. Down here. Where? This is Big Brother. Good morning. Tully and Matthew yeah. to the backyard. Buttercup is waiting. Buttercup. I'm coming, Buttercup. Today is going to suck. Morning, Buttercup. Oh, at least it's sunny out here. Yeah. Good morning, baby. I have dog hair all over my pants. It's making me miss my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perch, quick. quick. <laughs> I love how every night Michaela's trying to get everyone to shut up. Kayla's doing what? She tries to get everyone to shut up. Kayla? Yeah. No, Mika what? no Michaela. And Michaela. In the, what, in the bedroom? Yeah. She's so like, all right, guys, if everyone just settles down, I'll turn the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> She's a teacher. Ah, uh, that is brutal. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was just about to go back to sleep. Yes, I'm sorry. Thanks for the wake up. around the time to get up or it could be like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, you slept quite a bit. You were snoring. I was like, shut up. Did I really? <laughs> yeah. You just gotta, you, like, literally, you just have to do that and I'll just stop. I've got like a snooze button. At one stage, I was thinking about doing it, but then I was like, I actually don't know this guy that well, and I wouldn't do that to someone that I don't know. We've got to break down these barriers. If we, can, if we don't believe it, they won't believe it. <laughs> Two days ago, Tahan was punished for climbing through the fence into the other side. For that, Big Brother confiscated her clothes. But when her luggage was returned yesterday, the clothes were missing. <laughs> Make a little shrine. Yeah, a shrine that's, to Tahan. It's the shrine for the clothes. 
The IOU for her wardrobe takes pride of place in the shrine she's made. Maybe if you pray to that shrine every day, Tahan. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like, just please. don't do anything, which is. Please. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Big Brother, I promise to never break the law again. And if I do, you, you can keep my out. clothes. <laughs> I'm going to make that promise because knowing you, you're going to break the law again. I know, that's the thing, I, I probably will. <laughs> We've got to remember that we can't feed them till we've eaten. Yeah. The halfway housemates rely on the safe housemates for all their food. When rations run low, the safe housemates become less generous. I'll get some plates. I rationed him on the eggs, everyone. I said We've one done egg. ten eggs. Well, why did you do that? You didn't listen then. Yeah, ten. 14, because there's no. 14 people. Oh, no. they don't get eggs. We get confused because people get dressed to work out, but then I don't know whether they're going to work out or going to eat. Oh, I'm going to probably eat first, like just have some toast or something. Yeah. Now, your husband is the example of the new, of the new type of man that's come along. Comfortable in his own skin. You know? Yeah. When I called him, I said last night, I said, Hi, darling. I think I said hi, honey. He goes, hi, darling. He just plays along. Doesn't care, you know? Yeah, no. Gem. Absolute gem. And that's, you know, that's where we're heading. I couldn't stand someone that was, like, funny about it. I'd just be like, get over yourself. Yeah, you wouldn't be attracted to someone like that. No. And if there was a vote on gay marriage, and I actually kind of hate the idea of a vote, to be honest, because I don't like people voting on whether I should get married or not. But if there was a vote, he'd be in favour, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And that's the... I think, actually, I don't think there's anyone in this house that would vote against. You don't think? No. Yeah, but, yeah well, I'm happy to hear that. I haven't had that discussion, I must admit. Good morning, Tahan. Good morning, big brother. How are you this morning? Um, a little bit better. So what can big brother do for you today? I was just coming in to talk about my clothes and I'm just hoping to see, like, what's the go, if there's any clues or, like, what do I have to do to get it back or is there any indication of when I might be getting them back? Tahan, that is all. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Breakfast is being delivered to the halfway housemates. Is it avocado or is it not avocado? I'm going to get you an avocado. How? You on toast. You. Do you want on toast? Yeah. If I could. But today, supplies are short, so it's a limited menu. Did I express what Tahoon actually wanted or did I, just, did I just say her name? She wanted... Avocado. Avocado, yeah. We aren't doing avocado today. Okay. <laughs> I thought that's what we were deciding. Yeah, I was just expressing actually, it. We've only got like two, don't we? <coughs> no. She said if. I usually eat an avocado a day. The last thing is, what's the hard one instead then? What does she want to eat? Yeah, instead of if there's no avocado. Is there any avocado? No. What do you want? Do you want a bit of peanut butter one? No, it's alright. That's it. Have you eaten anything? <laughs> no. No, she mm -mm. I'm cool. I'm happy not to eat. Like, I don't need to eat. Do you guys care? I just won't have ever. I'm going to take a quarter, sorry. She's, because she's my bestie, I have to look after her. I'll be doing wrong. <laughs> look at the eels I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. There's two of these. Yes. Oh, yeah, with me, eh? Well, because I was going to have avocado this morning and I didn't. Exactly. Yeah, so no. Uh, yeah. What about, I'll cut off a she little needs bit. To. I'll cut off <laughs> yeah, she needs to. OK, do no, it. No, I do need those. Do yeah. it. But yeah. when we've got no food yeah, left... Yeah, I'm happy not to have any. I'm still eating. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, no, the poor girl hasn't eaten anything. She doesn't eat eggs and she doesn't drink milk. Sorry. She needs to have an avocado. I don't know. Do you want Abba? Abba? Yeah, is that OK? Besties, hey? Your yeah, besties. Do you want lemon or not? Mm, oh, actually, yeah, I might, actually. Thank you. Tim's hard line on the food is starting to annoy some of the halfway housemates. It's got to pull his head in a bit, you know? If he doesn't go his way, you know, everything has to go his way. I don't like that about people. You've got to be accommodating with our people. You can't, you know, go, go through your life just getting everything the way you want. Coming up... Before, I've always getting along with everyone, but Tim's just really getting, <laughs> really getting on the nerves at the moment. Caleb ready to take on tactless Tim. If it gets any worse, I'll pull him aside and have a word to him. What are you doing in the gym today, Drew? I'm going to do shoulders and try biceps. 
Well, that should be good. Oh, yeah, you'll get a show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go pour myself a hot cup of tea and <laughs> come on out and... Sit on the, sit on the Swiss ball. You know, just have a little look at... Yeah. See, at least with me, Drew, you don't have to worry about me cracking on to your missus. That's true. I'm safe. Yeah, I mean, You have to worry about yourself, that's but, a but you're a big boy. You that's can... all right, I can handle it. Morning, brother. Good morning, Caleb. How were the sleeping arrangements last night? <laughs> well, they've been better. <laughs> I mean, I am, I'm getting there slowly. They're not, they're not great, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but um, I'll get to sleep with my bestie, so that's, a, that's the only good thing. <laughs> Who else do you get on well with in the house? I think Jazz is lovely. I think Jazz is only the, sing the only single girl in here, and she's, uh, she's on the other side of the fence. So it's a bit hard, but I had a really good chat with her yesterday. A bit of a D&M outside near the, um, near the pool. But, uh, yeah, it was really... Yeah, she's a lovely girl. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to know her more. Is there anything else, Caleb? I don't have an issue with anyone, but I find... I'm starting to find Tim's getting on my nerves a little bit, even though he's on the other side. Ben, I like to start calling you a bit of a gym junkie. Oh, stop. <laughs> Two days in a row. I don't know but how are you you're walking in your rock. Oh, I don't know how you can do this. I don't. I never do that. Oh yeah. I, don't know. I, I find it so hard. I find it hard. Like. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Probably like all the letters from my grandma. <sighs> Ed made my bed today. There has to be a floor somewhere. What do you mean? <laughs> he just can't be that good. <laughs> This is the thing, right? Can you imagine how many people would be falling in love with him? He's... This is pretty, pretty much there. Australia's... Not Bachelor, what can we call it? Australia's Prince Charming. I'd like to see him... He's not crazy. That's what I think my thing would be, why I wouldn't go with him. He's not crazy, what do you mean? Like, he's not, he's not got that crazy bone in him, I don't think. He's fun. He, he's funny. He's funny. And I'm only looking for that flaw because I believe that everyone could, should have a fault. So his is that he's not crazy. He's not crazy, I don't know. No, bring me up in the afternoon for any hours. You're in there for ages, bro. I was in a chat. What about? <laughs> Oh, no, I haven't chatted about Tim. Oh, oh really? Oh. <laughs> you having a bitch about him? Yeah, no, I come out and said, he said, is there anything else? I said, yeah, actually, there is. Actually, none of you are. <laughs> I said, I don't know, like, I, you know, I've never been feeling like this about anyone before. Like, I've always getting along with everyone, but Tim's just really getting, <laughs> really getting on my nerves at the moment. <laughs> he's actually, you know, he's the type of bloke that, you don't know, he, I just don't know what he's up to. He's, he's, he doesn't seem to be considerate of other people's feelings at all. Like, you know, I said, when you want an avocado this morning, you, you know, he hadn't eaten or anything, and he, he didn't want to give an avocado. Or when you want to have food, and he says, oh, you can't have that sort of thing. And, and then, you know, and, but when I had a chat to him yesterday, when the house is open, he seemed, like, really genuine. Like, he seemed, like, really nice when I was chatting yeah. to him, up one-on-one. -on -one. But he said himself that but, the minute we were back in this fence, he automatically hated all of us again. Yeah, and I said, he's like, I said, he's like the weather. Every day is like, some days is good, some days is bad. Yeah. And like, you know, and I just don't understand him. I reckon he's the one who's, he's the only one in this house who I think is playing the game. I just want there to be a girl like me. Heidi's a bit like he's you, isn't naughty. she? No, she still toes the line too much and she's not single. Mm. You know, I don't not like him, but I just... I just think that it's, it's, for him, in his own brain, is the Tim Show. Yeah. We just, we just called it the Tim Show. We're like, oh, isn't this Tim, and Tim the, Show? Yeah, the Tim Show is all about him, you know, and he can't, and he, like, sometimes I talk to him and say, oh, and he doesn't even acknowledge me. Yeah. He's really all over the joint. He is. He's just not stable at all. And me? I was the same, like, why does everyone, like, not like him? I don't get it. Like, I think he's funny. I think he's fine. But then he's like, like he just, something started playing on me. Yeah. Even yesterday, trying to get to know him, trying to talk to him, mm. it was just really like, it was an effort, like it was forced. It's funny, because I went in there with a different approach, and I was like, you know what, I think I've got you. And I was talking all about him, and he was dead interested. He was like this. I just realised that. He didn't ask me one thing about my life. Really? I was talking to the army about him yesterday. He was just blown by it. He was just more and more, and he just like, God, like you said, he's never met the guy in the army before. So he was the opposite with me. So maybe he's playing different. Mm. And then he said, 
and, and to different people. Guy, you know, if anyone he, in this whole entire house is playing the game, it's him. If it gets any worse, I will. I'll pull him aside and have a word to him. Because I've never met someone like that before. Mm. So where near Byron, well, whereabouts do you guys live again? Ballina. Ballina. Yeah. It's where the airport is. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. I was only there about three weeks ago. We stayed in Byron. I go there about two or three times a year. It's oh, not like awesome. I... If I could do one thing in my life, it would be to earn enough money to <laughs> have a house at Water Goes. Oh, I love Water Goes. Like, I'm obsessed. That lighthouse Well, you can come run. stay with me. Yeah, I'll have to come visit. We have visit. a spare room. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love it. I couldn't turn around because I have my tops off. He was rolling. I wanted to do it into the pool, but... It's your birthday. I'm you too can't do it on the pool. I'm too scared to just... Axe myself yeah. on the on the bricks. Hit, hit no, don't do that, babe. The... And I was talking about Byron, yeah. and she goes, "Oh, you're you welcome to come and stay with me anytime." Yeah. And then she goes, um, "Oh, yeah, we've got a spare bed." No, and there was a distinction said, between yeah, me like, and hey, we. And we yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, wouldn't yeah. you say, come stay yeah, with us? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Even if yeah. That's her, like, and life. she doesn't talk My about Drew in a like, oh, domestic oh, sense, yeah. about stories about what they've done together. Yeah, yeah, it's stuff. always yeah, just, oh, babe, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there must be people that like that sort of stuff. Like, there are, yeah. Ben and Jasmine have been called to the diary room to be introduced to a new game. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, wait, I've got to tell you later. Oh my god! <laughs> what are we doing? Ben and Jasmine. Yes? Today, it's down to you and you alone to win ingredients for this week's family dinner. This week's game is called sink or float. Before we get started, let's find out what you're playing for. Ben, lift off the win cloche to reveal this week's gourmet prize. Okay. Oh! Hey! How do you like the look of that, Mom, housemates? Mom, look at those prawns. Ben, lift the lid on the lose cloche okay. to reveal this week's budget prize. Okay. Are you ready? Oh. oh, no! <laughs> Is that sardines? It's our sardines, You can it? smell it straight away, can't you? All right. Housemates, you will take it in turns to drop items <laughs> into the fish tank in front of you. Before you release it into the water, you must predict if you think the item is a sinker and will sink, <laughs> or is a floater and will float. Okay. Predict four out of six correctly, <laughs> and you will win the gourmet ingredients. All right, we can do this. Lemon. A lemon float. Can I say float? Are you sure? <laughs> no, we're not sure. No. Oh, please. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm gonna say. Oh, I would just say float again. Yeah. We're I... gonna float again then. Come on, come on. <laughs> Apple. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, say float. 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 Yeah, <laughs> you go down. Two. I feel confident. Float. Uh, no! <laughs> no! This is so tricky. I think they're trying to mess yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah. And it's working. <laughs> What's your final prediction? Sink. <laughs> you predicted. Two out of five floaters and sinkers correctly. You have failed your fellow housemates. You will be eating the budget meal of sardines on toast for family dinner. Next. You're like to... funny, you're I'm... fun, you're good looking. Like Is Ed just too good to be true? There right. has to be something wrong with you. Once we've been married for a whole year, yeah. I will kill you. 
I haven't washed my hair yet. Wash your hair. No. As soon as he says hot water's on, run in there and shampoo the shiza out of your hair. Despite rumours from some that they may not be for real, Mr and Mrs, Drew and Jade, are still putting up a convincing performance as newlyweds. Nice. It was fat on my belly when I got like that. Oh, it's like fat on my belly too. You're going to have some more. There's no fat on your belly, <laughs> Mr Skinny Mini. Tim is the biggest doubter. That'll be like the honeymoon's over. Yeah. Oh, Timmy's back on it. Yeah, Tim's back on it, but we... Why is Timmy back on it? What did he say today? He didn't really say the reasoning why, I just thought it. He went to come over and tell me, but we had to, because there was people around. Yeah. But last night, we all spoke about it and sort of said, oh, look, this is the reason why we thought it. she thought that everyone was bitching about it and didn't like her, and I was like, no, not at all. Yeah. I'm like, I'm so sorry that you thought that. You think they're legit as well now? Well, I genuinely thought they were when I first met them. So and does then... Maddie. Maddie's dead on that they're legit. Yeah. Won't hear a word about it. Actually, I don't know about you, Prince Charming. With what? I think what's the go with you is... This will be good. We've been discussing. It's gonna something has to give. There has yeah. to be something. Yeah, I, I reckon what, that you might what... have like aggression issues. Aggression issues. No, like, and that you're like, keeping them. Subdued. That's why you go to the gym and you take it out on the gym. No, I go to the gym because don't get I angry. <laughs> the only reason why I couldn't date you, and because I think you're perfect in every way, is I don't think that you're crazy like me. As crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like you're have... funny. You're not... fun, you're good looking. I like to have a good time. There has to be something wrong with you. What would you say is your worst quality? My worst quality? Yeah. And try and put yourself in like a girl's perspective. Like why, what, what would an ex-girlfriend say about you? Or what would someone you used to hook up with say about you in a negative way? Would it be like, oh, he's... Sometimes he's so like perfect that it's... No. Nah, nah, seems nah. like he's not interested or... Oh, I'll tell you pass. mine. Yeah, go. Okay. So my worst quality is impatience with people. Impatience with people? Yeah, I'm really impatient. Um, my worst one, like, oh, I sound like an idiot, I, honestly. Don't have one? No, no, I do. Of course I do. I would have heaps. That's you probably... Should've, you should've Maybe had, you're too you nice. Nah, no, you, you know what, pals. I said but last night, I, and, I, and I am, because of, you know, I've been around people for what I did. Um, you have to meet a lot of people. Do you know I've worked out what your worst quality is? What's that? You don't answer the question. <laughs> That's so your worst on, quality. You You've just been around, around the bush. bush. No, no, this no. is Big Brother. Tully to the diary room. Why are you allowed to go and we've been waiting <laughs> for him? I was really getting into the conversation with you. <laughs> Housemates will have their first family dinner tonight and Big Brother has something planned to help them with their table talk. All the housemates will be asked to make suggestions on ways their fellow housemates could improve their Big Brother experience, with their suggestions to remain anonymous. Michaela would have a better Big Brother experience if she stopped comparing herself to the other girls. She is beautiful just the way she is. That's lovely. And a nice suggestion. It's true. In the safe house diary room, Tim is doing the same thing. Ben would have a better Big Brother experience if he wasn't so afraid to try new things. I think the safe house would have a better Big Brother experience if they remembered to walk a mile in the halfway house's shoes each day. It could have just as easily been you. Tahan would have a better Big Brother experience if she stopped putting on so much makeup all the time and realised she's probably beautiful on the inside. When pretty people think they are ugly, it makes ugly people sad. Jasmine would have a better experience if she stopped boring people with unnecessary Facts. I had a go at Tim today. Oh, did you? Oh, why? Damn it, why did I miss it? Because he was bullying Ben, basically, about his shaver. And I said, stop pressuring him. Get over it. You're not using it. Enough's enough. Like, I'm sick of hearing you whinge about it. It's about hygiene and mm. it's me medical and he uses it because of his acne. It's mm. really bad, painful acne. 
And yeah, Ben's just not comfortable sharing, sharing it. it. And that should have been it, but he just, he was like... But this is, I'm not sure if you're aware, but this is the, actually the Tim show, so... Yeah. Oh. Duh. <laughs> Guys. She needs to get to the point quicker or people might fall asleep. <laughs> I feel like I might be one of the only people that might be able to get through to Tim, but I can't do it with this wall. Mm. Like yesterday I had a breakthrough with him and he kind of switched, he didn't switch off, but he seemed genuine for a bit. It's just like this, and he, he said it himself. I mean, he's, the, he's his own worst enemy. He's, he's very honest with his behavior. Mm. He said himself, like, oh, the minute we were back, he's like, oh, now I really hate all of you guys again. Like I was really enjoying this and now I just automatically hate all of you again. I keep going, mm. Tim. You're saying that out loud. You're not doing yourself any favours. People are going to remember this stuff. He needs to be challenged. He needs it. He needs a school teacher to whip him in gear. <gasps> With a With cat. A Coming up, new best friends getting to know each other before the task quiz. How uh, do you like your eggs? Ice? Yeah, same. <laughs> yes, this is easy. <laughs> oh, no. No more hugging this time. The halfway housemates have been allowed over to the safe side to take part in the weekly task. Yesterday, housemates had to choose a new best friend. Now they have to get to know them for a quiz tonight, testing their knowledge. The seesaw is, is for new best friends only. Only one couple may ride the seesaw at a time. Awesome. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, that's it. Jump on, bro. <laughs> 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 this thing's this thing's sturdy, eh? Hey? <laughs> Go! <laughs> Jump! He doesn't know how to use it! <laughs> Jump! He doesn't know how to use it! Oh. Yeah, that's how you use it! I never use a seesaw! Yeah, use your feet! There you go! He's trying to use <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't know about this. He's freaking out. <laughs> um, all right. What, um... What can we ask? Uh... How do you like your steak? Medium rare? Yeah. Same. Same? Yep. Um... How do you like your eggs? Poached? Yeah, same. <laughs> yes, this is easy. I oh, know, this is so easy. Um... I don't like people who are up themselves. I yep. hate people who talk about themselves. Yep. I talk too fast. I'm a loud talker. I'm a drama queen. You know that already. What's your favourite season? Summer. Yours? Uh, 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 Spring? What season? I, I like what winter. season's hockey season? Winter. Well, technically, the hockey season here is summer. Yeah. Um, Why favorite winter? country to visit? I've never visited any country before, but I would really love to go to Europe in general. Probably France. Dessert wise, what's your favorite dessert? Soft scented chocolate pudding with custard and cream. Would you go into a seven items or, or less lane with upwards, uh, with over ten items? Yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever shoplifted? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, my favourite meal. I I like a lot of weird little things. Like I love um, duck pancakes. Yeah. And like pork belly. Yeah. And, like tempura prawns. That looks a yep. little weird. Like yeah. It's not really a meal. It's Asian more like a... thing. More Asiany. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Shower or bath? Shower. Shower. Do you like a bath to relax? But I feel like I have to have a shower before or after. Yeah. And you get a of water. Yeah. Tim has an idea to get to know Ben better by wearing each other's clothes. He needs to know that that's a very big privilege. What's that? Me and Ben are just going to put on each other's clothes just to get to know each other and, and understand each other a bit better by seeing through each other's own eyes. I'd love to see Benny eyes. in some subi. Yeah, I'm going to put him in some subi. I'm thinking either the altar or the, the eagle. Pick out your best outfit that best describes you. Oh, it's just chinos and a plain T-shirt. Okay. 
Yeah. So, but what about your grandpa yeah. hat or your Oh, pajamas? my grandpa hat. That is definitely me. Those shoes, I'd never be caught dead wearing something like that. My locus. That sounded pretty bad. <laughs> it did, yeah. No, but you wouldn't be caught dead wearing my clothes. I would, your clothes wouldn't suit me, no. Oh, it's God. just a demonstration to show I couldn't pull off you, you couldn't pull off me. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I walked right into that, didn't I? A glass of wine has got that out, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was a good one. I'm so over Tim right now. Everyone's getting over him he's very quickly. He's but he's, he's just on all the time. And it's day three. I think it's by the end, people are going to be going go. nuts on him. Well, that's why I said it's a real privilege that I think we'll be wearing each other's clothes. Because he said the same thing. He's like, I don't want people touching my clothes. He hates your clothes. Did he say that? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he doesn't want to. But, like, you want to learn. I Maybe do want to learn because learn I want to not be ignorant and dismiss him. Well, then don't say him. stuff I don't like dismiss that him. about his shoes because... Your biggest thing is your identity and you, and then look at you paying him out for what he wears and like his identity. So that's, you just got to learn to appreciate. Differences. Differences. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's all just a learning experience. Yeah, and just being considerate of other people. Shut up. When you said that, <laughs> it feels though you're my mum. Are you right? You good? <laughs> Is that your first impression? I, I haven't done it for maybe. Can you have You guys are pretty much even. <laughs> I want a jumping car, so... <laughs> you know what? I don't think I'd be able to go on it. Why? Oh, because I've got a sore knee. Oh. Yes. What, oh, what's that from? <laughs> um, uh, I've got... Uh, oh, playing netball. OK. Yes, I've got a, a sore... a torn ACL. Oh, wow. Yes. What was your favourite subject at school? Oh, smart. I think Tim asked me this today, and then yeah. he made fun of me for saying my answer. English. Last movie you went to? Fast and Furious. Ah. I think the last film I saw at the cinema was um, This Is It. You know that Michael Jackson documentary? Oh, concert? was that good? Yeah, it was good. I mean, yeah. sad, it was yeah, good. Yeah. It was... <laughs> You're going to hurt yourself. No, I'm, I'm good. I don't like it. Hang on. You know I hate roller coasters and everything, but any sort of get ride. I don't yeah. like this. Can I get Blame. off? <laughs> I'm going to be sick. Oh. Okay, I want to get off. I'm now. done with this, actually. <laughs> Can I get off? Okay, go. <laughs> Wait. Don't. I'm really sore now. I thought I just saw a bear, but it was you in the mirror. A bear. So now. Go. See? <laughs> Who would have thought? I'm fat ass. Did you ever do See, this when saw, you were a kid? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ow! I nearly broke my ankle. <laughs> One last person to beat for the showdown. <laughs> Coming up, what are the last two digits of Jade's mobile phone number? Could a quiz question blow Jade and Drew's marriage story? Come on, you know this, babe. Big Brother, brought to you by Songle. Visit songle.com and start streaming today. Out of three. So, who is it? This is the side. With the house together as one for the weekly task, the halfway housemates have challenged the safe housemates with a tug of war.
need a hook. You need a hook. Oh! Oh! This could be match point. This could be anything. No! Oh! Oh! Did he win? Oh! Is that three? Oh! Is that three? Oh! Is that three? Oh! It could be anything. Oh! It could be one else gets it. Not Play it smart, okay? Housemates, you have all found your new best friend. Yay. And by now, you should know them very well indeed. So do. Best friends, your new relationships are about to be put to the test. Housemates are playing for their shopping budget tomorrow by matching questions about their best friend in the house. Xavier and Michaela to the diary room. Each correct answer is worth $25, and waiting housemates will see and hear the results. Oh my God. What is the name of Xavier's band? They, they, they. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Reveal your answers now. <laughs> Xavier's is the only housemate's name starting with X. As you're both so in tune with each other. Write down another word starting with X. Reveal your answer now. Tim. Yes. Heidi. Hello, big Hello. brother. Are you feeling confident? Um, well, yeah. we're in tune with each other. We wore matchy matchy outfits. How often does Tim wash his hair daily, <laughs> weekly, or monthly? Reveal your answers now. Ah! Oh. Oh. Your final question is Heidi is offered free. Cosmetic surgery. Would she take it? <gasps> Reveal your answers now. Oh. <laughs> Who bought Ben his bulldog pajamas? <laughs> Mar oh. I put Margaret because just yeah. that's her name. Yeah. yeah. Which male does Sharon find most attractive in the house? Reveal your answers now. <laughs> Does Tahan think that obese people should pay for two plane tickets when we, travelling? We didn't talk we about this. We haven't discussed this, but... Reveal your answers. This isn't fair. Now. Which AFL team did Ed used to play for? <gasps> I get them mixed up a little bit, just a little bit, but I'm I'm pretty confident this if is you it. I get this, we're done. <laughs> we're not besties anymore. No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Yes. Yeah, legend. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Are you feeling confident? Yeah, pretty yeah. confident. <laughs> Pretty good. pretty good bromance going, big brother. <laughs> Before today, has Caleb ever ridden a seesaw? <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> How many boyfriends has Jasmine had? This is easy. Oh, I, hold up, yeah. Reveal your answers now. Of all the housemates, Drew and Jade have spent the most time getting to know each other, particularly to perfect their fake marriage backstory. What are the last two digits of Jade's mobile phone number? Come on, you know this, babe. Reveal your answers now. 
Yeah. I'm impressed. What colour dress did Drew's sister wear to your wedding? Reveal your answers now. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm so impressed. Who knows my phone number? <laughs> Housemates. At $25 per correct answer, your shopping budget for this week is $425. With the task over, the halfway housemates return to their side of the divide. Tully. I just wanted to come in and say thank you again for letting us play next door um, and that it was a really fun afternoon and it was really great to see all the boys playing together and Tim and even Ben getting involved. Oh, she's a strong one though, isn't she, Tully? Tully. Mm. She's yeah. so fierce. Yeah, she's like, very strong. Really, she's switched on as well and she yeah. watches everything. Yeah. And she's on to it and she likes to think that she knows what's going on. Yeah. Maybe I'm a little bit scared of her. <laughs> It was cool, and it was cool that we got to know other housemates just by sitting in conversations um, or even just watching the task on the big screens. I don't think you, you can play Tully. Yeah. I think, I guess most interesting for me today um, was how different Tim was when he had all the boys with him. Um, when we're, when it's us in the halfway house and them in the safe house. He's very much a lone ranger. He never really sits still. And we dress the same, yet we're so different. Like, okay. she's so that Sydney socialite yep. bitch club. OK. He's always running around. You know, he seems like he's so bored, so he's always creating new little things for himself. Um, also seems like he's a bit disinterested in all the housemates. Like, hasn't really got time. He'll spend five minutes with each of them, and then after that, he's kind of like, oh, and wanders off. I haven't actually really had a yeah, good conversation with her, I suppose. She just thinks that she knows me really good as well, that yeah. she's got me down pat. But today, we had his attention for a good few hours there. The boys did um, with the thong game, and then tug of war, and then playing on the balls in the pool, and then in the spa. Like, he was, he was there with it, with the boys. So that was interesting for me to observe. She's only seeing the first yeah. level of me and... Yeah, yeah. I don't... I don't know, maybe I don't show her anything else, but those sorts of people I just don't have time for. Yeah, yeah. Next, a brand new room is revealed. Big Brother has now opened the parlour for your enjoyment. <laughs> Maybe we should just dish it up as well, lots of different ways. So this is... So After losing the sink or float game for tonight's dinner ingredients, Jasmine and Ben are making the most of their sardines and toast. Don't you feel like we're doing a great thing? I think we are putting on one of the best meals that this house has ever seen. And, you know what, I think it'd be offensive if they didn't try it. Can I just say, look at that, if you just look at that. That is. We should be in two. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Oh, we're missing a plate. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Where are we are? We are missing a plate. A yellow. Yellow. Do we open the sardines and have a look too? Yeah, all right. Oh, what do you want over on the board? Yeah. Or maybe maybe we'll do it on the thing because the... if they spill, they'll be yeah. easy to wipe up. Oh. Oh god, I just. I don't even like the. I... Do I open one with me? Oh, no, we'll just do this one. You ready? Oh, God. Just go. <laughs> oh. So there's a lovely oil there. <laughs> there's a lovely oil there. Oh, my God. I feel like going... Oh, yeah. oh don't, don't, don't smell it. Jasmine, <laughs> Jasmine, Jasmine. Yeah, push, 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 push. Yeah, push, 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 push. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Over here. Meow. 
Despite the dreary dinner offerings, Big Brother has a special surprise tucked away in the corner of the bathroom. It's called the parlor. Big Brother has now opened the parlor for your enjoyment. <laughs> There are two things you need to know. Firstly, the parlour will only be open for a limited time. And secondly, there is only room for four housemates in the parlour at any one time. The housemates are going all out by dressing up for the dinner party. Even Drew washes his hair. And tonight's chefs are pulling out all the stops. You know what? We need to focus on our dinner party. Oh. Use a loaf to make initials. Like on people's names? Yeah. So like, you know, B for Ben. Yeah. I don't know how you do that. You just cut it out, wouldn't you? It's like... Okay, do, do, okay. I will try one. Do, okay, do, do your name. What do you think? Oh, that's nice. And maybe we can just save these and put the sardines inside. <laughs> off, off, off. Oh, it's not burning hair. I find it hard to talk to you, Tully. Me? You're always off in the fairyland. Coming from you. No, but I can sit down and focus for a combo. I sat down and focused. I've focused with you. Yeah, I guess. You're always just running around. No, I'm not. When you're around me, you are. Yeah, because like I'm running away from you. you're afraid to give me your attention. Mate, I gave you my one-on-one -on -one attention yesterday, and I pretty much nailed you on the head in the first five minutes. Yeah, but you don't let hey. anyone into you. That's what I'm saying. Hey. I find this really hard. It's ridiculous. It's a super idea. I'm just not very good at it. It's okay. <laughs> this is where to get the tea. Where did the tea go? Aren't we saving the letters? <laughs> like this. Okay, I have to be assigned another job. <laughs> There's only one person that I just cannot crack. I can't Who? get in. Who? Tully. She's a real, like, hard nut. Hard nut and won't let me in, just won't let me. I don't think she'll let anyone in, to be honest. Mmm. So, Al, what's Al? Um, you might have ex been expecting a lamb roast. Oh, I'll go home. But instead, we'll be serving sardines and toast. That's perfect. Should we do one line each, or? I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to remember it. Too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. We'll, we'll come and get you in the door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah, we'll be back. Oh, this is beautiful. We'll come and get you. Do you know I reckon? Okay, we'll be back too. Pretty tastily. I want. I want to practice our lines. Okay. Um, should we open up with "We are your host"? We are your host. We wanted to serve you roast. In, um. But tonight we gladly serve you sardines and toast. I think that's nice. Okay. Can, we, can we do it again? Okay. Just that last yeah. minute. Uh, we, like to have, we like to have served you roast. But tonight uh, we gladly serve you sardines, sardines and on toast. toast. Uh, on toast or and toast? And toast. Sardines and, and toast. toast. Yeah. I love I it. Love I really love it. It's fantastic. Next, Surly returns. 
Oh, really? So, I was in this house all last year. Yeah. And they just left me here. <gasps> Rude as ever. To Han and Caleb. Two of the stupidest names I've ever heard in my life. Jasmine and Ben have prepared the housemates' first family dinner. But having lost a challenge for dinner ingredients, tonight's menu is a budget special. Sardines and toast. Enjoy um, a lovely um, tap water as well. We have on um, tonight. Oh, oh look at the presentation is beautiful. It is, and we've tinned them for your convenience oh, yeah. to keep in maximum freshness. Each housemate has anonymously suggested a topic of conversation to be drawn at random. Tahan would have a better Big Brother experience if she stopped putting on so much makeup all the time and realised she is probably beautiful on the inside. When pretty people think they are ugly, it makes ugly people sad. I think you're so stunning that it's incredibly intimidating. But, however, I understand that when you do have a hang-up about yourself, mm. it's really hard to get rid of it. And no matter how many times people tell you the opposite of what you're thinking, your own insecurities always get in the way, and I totally understand that. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, I think... Horses for courses. If hair, if hair and makeup's your thing, then go for it. Like someone else might have their own thing. I think we've all got um, like a shell, and to get to know someone, you've got to look beyond that. And near to Han, it's hard to see whether the shell matches the interior yet. Heidi needs a quick toilet break. She has no idea that a secret housemate has been hiding in the bathroom. Until now. I'm sorry. Oi. Hello? Oi. Yes. Down here. Where? Over here. Yeah. Oh, certainly. I was in this house all last year. Yeah. And they just left me here. <gasps> so they've left you in the drain. I had to jump out of my tank. Wriggle across the floor, jump down the bog, <laughs> and I'm stuck under this stupid bathroom. Do you want me to help you out? It could get ugly. Oh, well, what do you want me to do, Sally? Do you want me to get you some food? Well, first of all, what's your name? Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Hello, Sally. How are you? I'm actually really good. We're in the middle of this dinner party, right? And it's pretty intense. How are you? I'm a little bit drained. Oh. <laughs> What's for dinner? Well, we had sardines. Did you hear the one about the sardine that was late for work? No. It got canned. <laughs> Tim would have a better Big Brother experience if he stopped thinking about himself for five minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think he'd have a better experience if he kept quiet, because that's, I reckon that's just the way you are, mate. And I actually enjoy sitting there and watching you be who you are. Um, I actually find it hilarious. Um, I, I think it's a terrible waste to always be the loudest voice in the room. And I think you need to be the loudest voice. I'm not sure if that's something you do on the outside, but it's definitely something you're doing here. Yeah, look, this is a bit of a funny one for me. I think that you could be like my house husband, who I love but also want to strangle. It's just going to take a little bit longer for us to get to know the real team. Well, but, it does, but it does not mean that I don't think that you're great. But you can be annoying. The last three days has been hectic. Like, <laughs> I think I come in here um, thinking that I was just going to have a bit of fun. But I'm learning so much off each and every one of you. And even though I might not tell you, I'm sort of testing each of you, you to try and... <laughs> you get that no, but like to try and work out how I can grow as a person myself. And I don't know if you guys are doing that, but that's like my favourite thing about the last few days. And we're only three days in and I'm already like, oh, this person's teaching me this and I'm learning this. And it's like crazy growing experience. And I like that because I didn't think that it would happen like that. And I understand how annoying I must be sometimes. Yeah. Hey, uh, you haven't got any grub, have you? Well, what do you want? All I can eat down here is what comes down the drain. It's crap. 
Well, I know, and one of the guys... No, really. It's right. crap. <laughs> Listen up. OK. Despite my predicament... Yeah? I still have some influence over this house. OK. Who are those two Muppets that had their clothes nicked? Oh, bloody Tahan and Caleb. Two of the stupidest names I've ever heard in my life. Well, they're really hard to say, aren't they, Sally? Anyway. Yeah. I got a confession. OK. It was me that nicked them. <gasps> do you want to get them back for them? What do I have to do? Go to the bathroom hatch, grab what's in there, come back over. OK. OK, Sally, it's a shirt. What does it say? Nominate me. I dare you. That's what's on the back. I want you to wear that shirt. I want you to put it Where on. Now? And you've got to convince the housemates that it's your own shirt. <laughs> now, the other housemates are going to think something fishy is going on. Don't let them break you. Just convince them it's your own shirt and I'll give those Muppets their clothes back. OK. Well, you know that I'm going to get blamed forever if I fail at this, just so you know, Surly. Well, you won't just get blamed, darling, because if you tell anyone about Surly, I'll boot you out of the house. Oh, OK. See ya, darling. Good luck. Bye, Surly. I think the safe house would have a better Big Brother experience if they remembered to walk a mile in the halfway house's shoes each day. <laughs> It could have just as easily been you. Yeah, look, I think that it is... I mean, obviously, it's, it's impossible for you guys to figure... To, to think about what it's like on our side because you just haven't been on our side. And, um, and I'm not going to say that it is a little bit difficult in the morning waking up and hearing you guys say you've had a bad sleep when we've been sharing <laughs> a mattress. I think that we've, been, we've done a lot with what we've been given. What? 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 <laughs> what? Is that allowed? Oh, well, I thought we were talking controversial <laughs> stuff tonight. So I thought I'd show you the shirt I made. Did you stick that I on? Do. <laughs> Did you stick that on? I do. Well, we're talking all this stuff, so I was like... This is the last one, yeah. I mean, let's yeah. see what happens. Party like, oh, to oh. the safe house. <laughs> <laughs> no, but surely you guys have made shirts like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hell! Is this not... During dessert, Big Brother wants to get a message to Jade. She's lived in Italy, so Big Brother gets his Italian counterpart to speak on his behalf. What is that? He was speaking Italian. What's he saying? Oh, he just said hello. 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 Sì, è molto strano. Eh, mi fa ridere che tu puoi dire tutto questo e loro non sanno niente. Mm. Loro non capiscono una so parola di tutto ciò. Penso di no. Dalle loro espressioni nessuno sta capendo un gran understand. nulla. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> no, dai, sono carini. For everyone else in the room. <laughs> Shush, Tim. Something in between you and you. And you said that twice. So, so can you, you translate it to us, now, please? No. He told you, you not to. No, he just said a few things. What yes. are you saying? Just he, said a, oh. he said that, um, isn't it funny that they can't understand what we're saying? Oh. And I said yes, yeah. and then he said a few things that I'm not allowed to repeat. But <laughs> he didn't tell you. Grazie, grande fratello. Everyone say grazie for the ice cream. Grazie. It was Surly that secretly took Tahan and Caleb's clothes out of their suitcases, but thanks to Heidi's efforts, they're finally being returned. She was going to cut my head. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on in here? What the hell? What are they? <laughs> Sit down. Oh, my God. My nose is off. It's the garbage. <laughs> Caleb, Tahan. Yes, Big Brother. It seems Big Brother has stumbled across your errant clothing. <laughs> if you care to take a look in the bags. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I could have used that shirt tonight. Yay! Yeah, You're mine. a legend, Big Brother. <laughs> Yay, Big Brother! Ah! <laughs> I want to know who the garbage is. 
Yes. Oh, it's a close party. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, it's a close party. What do you say? It's more Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas. I'm not doing that. What do you say? Coming up. We actually, I actually, mate, don't even start with me. Tense times in the halfway house. Are you serious? Just leave it. Why are you trying to start a fight? Big Brother brought to you by Jump In. Download the Jump In app now. This is your chance to be part of the Big Brother house. That was so funny. I was like, you go, Big Brother. Like, you speak Italian. That was, and... that was actually mind blowing, though. What, speaking in Italian? It was, it was fantastic. Were you pretending that you were like, oh yeah, I've heard it? Yeah, like I had to do times. that. Had, that's the worst thing. That was really <laughs> impressive. And I was had to be sitting there like, oh yeah. Actually doing your Italian thing again. <laughs> but I was actually, yeah, I was very, very, yeah, just impressed with that. <laughs> Xavier? Yes. How are you? I could not be better. How are you? Can you expand on that? Oh, I'm just having a great night. Loved it. Loved dinner, big brother. I thought that was awesome. Phenomenal. <laughs> just the, the, uh, the, 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 what's the, what's the word? Juxtaposition, maybe, between the sardines and bread and everyone dressed up and make up and going to the parlour and then the discussions. It's just been a very entertaining night. So it's fair to say family dinner was an interesting affair. Yeah, and it was, it was actually good to see everyone, everyone else's opinion and, uh, and bring them out. But whether or not it changes anything I, is another question. I would hope so, especially I don't think it's going to change Tim because he's, he's his own weird unit. He's a renegade and he'll just do, continue to do what he wants. But I surely hope it affects uh, Tian um, a little bit because it, she needs it. She needs, she needs uh, confidence and she needs uh, to lift her insecurity because she, that's what everyone said, she's the most beautiful girl in here. She's got such a, a big heart, she's got a story to tell and it just gets brought down by the fact she's consistently questioning herself. And she doesn't need to. Xavier, if you had to sum it up, how would you say tonight's dinner topics have changed the mood in the house? Um, yeah, the, the mood of the house right now is, yeah, it's very, very positive and, and happy. And it's a yeah, pretty good place to be, I think. Hi, Mum. Hi, Nana. <sighs> I hope you're proud of me. You know, I'm used to living on my own, and you know what a challenge this is. But I want to do you both proud. I want to do myself proud as well. Hmm. Oi, we're just sleeping on this boat, just you and me, on three. Uh, That'll be enough, hey? Hang on. Oh, look at these kicks, man. Oh. Hang on. Yeah. Well, Can we talk about this? Because I feel like I'm constantly getting the raw end of the bargain. How? Because you guys keep getting your own and I'm sharing with everybody. I thought that's How? what you, did you say you, was going who's on? Sharing, who's doing well, that? I thought, like, what's, what is the deal tonight? Do you girls, would you want to sleep on that together again or not? Or was it uncomfortable? I can't, like, I'm happy sharing if it means everyone gets a bed, but I would also, like, just one night sleep where yeah, I can... Yeah, like, we, we, we have to just wait, like, people, we need to... Mate, you had that to yourself. Yeah, the very first night. But like, yeah, but I shared last night with T. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, like, what I'm saying is I've yet to have a good sleep yeah. by myself on That's anything. Cool. OK, there's three of those mattresses. Like, three people can sleep three on Three people one can't of... sleep on those at all. Look at the size of us. I know, us but it's... Like, you We're just wait... I know, it's just... I'll sleep on the ground. I don't really mind at all. Half of <laughs> us are making this the fairest thing possible and half of us is thinking of ourselves. But I can... Like, one person deserves that and I... <laughs> Oh my god. She's talking about me, which is. I'll sleep on the ground. Is she getting angry? <sighs> yeah, she is. Oh, oh, oh god. Not close. <laughs> 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 
tell him anything. What's happening? I need to have a, some time out. What's happening? I'm just having a little bit of a calm down walk. I'm about to cry out of anger and frustration. Sometimes I want you on our side because I think... Sometimes I feel like maybe I would fit better on that side. Yeah. Would you be able to sleep on one of these by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, OK, well, why don't you just grab one of them and Tully can have the two mattresses on her own. Yeah. Every night we've been in here, I've been putting the girls first, like some maternal mother, yeah. and sharing with the boys, you look sharing half the a mattress, yep. sleeping on the floor, yep. and it, it, I just, it, no one else is looking, looking after, you. after you. But tonight I went in there and said, okay, you're not tonight. Michaela's already got her own little mattress. Tea's already, tea's already bagged like her little well bean bag. The boys, and I'm like, cool, so once again, we're... <laughs> I just feel like yeah, I'm putting yeah, everybody else you first. Do a swap tonight. There's one good bed. There's one good bed, right? And in my head, one each of us should get that one good bed to ourselves for one night, for one good sleep. Instead of running away, she needs to see and talk about it. Yeah, I know, I know. I want to sleep on the floor, that's ridiculous. <coughs> so where do you want to sleep, babe? Nowhere. No, Tally, no, please we, stop. We actually, I actually... Mate, don't even start with me. No, I'm just, just saying... Just leave, you... leave it, just leave it. Are you serious? Just leave it. Why are you trying to start a fight? I'm just not, I'm just saying you need to talk so we know what you want. I've put you two first every night and made sure that everyone had a good night's sleep. I just think it's <laughs> fair that Cal gets the good bed and that you guys share. Like, ev like I've been sharing with the boys, but you guys can't share with the boys. I don't want a good bed. I'm oh, having I'm this bed. You haven't, you've had a, you haven't had a good night's sleep in a no, good bed. No, it's fine. I don't mind. Like, seriously, I'm cool. Then why are you taking a look at me? The problem is there is no good combination. We don't fit on any of these beds. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Uh, I wonder how they're going to uh, react when we say not only are we not married, but we had never met before. We I met. Can, oh, hopefully, hopefully. I'm hoping they'll give us a bit of respect for that and not hate. I'll tell you what, I'm not giving you respect for. Hey, look at it. It's ridiculous. The baby looks so much better than having greasy hair. No, greasy I was digging the grease. Is, Greasy hair is such a bad look on guys. Oh, it just, I did look it's a bit. Not nice. I did look a bit. Uh, like all respect, we don't actually know each other, so <laughs> it, just all respect to speak you. Speak up. Just Grace, speak up. Speak up. Grease in boys' hair. It's just like I don't take care of myself. Usually it cleans itself. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Good night, big brother. Good night, big brother. Good night, halfway housemates. Actually, the other mattress. Oh, that's a good thing. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.